good to be in a good mood when you're learning. Your mind works a lot better. So hopefully you're happy and smiling because at the end of this video, you're going to know how to balance general ledger accounts. So what I've done is I've recorded steps for you to follow when you draw up a general ledger account. The first thing you need to do is you need to record the opening balance of the account and that is done on the first day of the month either on the debit side or the credit side depending which account which account we're looking at. Step two after all the transactions have been posted or entered into the account, you must determine whether the debit or the credit side of the account is bigger. You find the difference between the two sides. And step three, on the last day of the month, you add to the smaller side the difference between the two sides, the debit and the credit side. And this is known as the balance carried down. So the opening balance is on the first day of the month. Step three, the balance carried down is on the last day of the month. Step four, total both the debit and credit side and place the totals on the same line. The totals will be the same because you've added to the smaller side the difference between the two sides. I will show you an example in a moment and everything I'm saying will make more sense. Step five, on the opposite side to the balance carried down, you're going to have the balance brought down on the first day of the next month. This is just a method that was introduced by manual bookkeepers maybe so there's consistency in how accounts were balanced this will be in tests and exams so it's important to get it right one day when you use software it'll do it for you but you're not there yet you need to understand what the software is doing let's carry on so Students, you will have to calculate opening balances from given information. And the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to balance a balance sheet account, a B account. Before I do that, let's just, just uh, refresh. There are columns for date, details, folio and amount. That is on the debit side, which is the left hand side. Then the same columns are on the credit side, date, details, folio, amount. And this is a statement of financial position account equipment, because equipment is an asset and assets have debit opening balances. It's B5. That is the reference given to this equipment account. Now if we apply the rules or the steps that I've just showed you, step one was put in the opening balance of the general ledger account. This information you either have to calculate the opening balance or it will be given to you on a trial balance. But I think you will have to calculate the opening balance. The opening balance goes in on the first of the month. Our financial year in this case actually starts 2024. January the 1st, the balance brought down is 210,000. And what that means is we have equipment to the value at the historical cost price of 210,000 in our offices or factory. That's the equipment opening balance. Then during the year, in this specific example, an item of equipment was disposed of and the cost price of the equipment 
was transferred to the asset disposal account. So we have an entry on the credit side. Then if I go across here, so all the transactions are being entered into the equipment account. On October the 1st, another piece of equipment was bought for 100,000 Rand. So the transactions that we have in the equipment account, just want to rub this out, getting a bit messy. The transactions we have in the equipment account that have occurred during this current year are the following. You had, remember, step one, put in the opening balance. Step two, enter the transactions. And the transaction was, there was asset disposal of an item, 90,000, and there was a purchase of an item, equipment, 100,000. So those are the three transactions. Two, including the opening balance, three. So opening balance, 210,000. Purchase of new equipment, disposal of equipment. Those are the three transactions. Now the question says, balance this general ledger account. Now we need to determine which side is bigger. So if we look at the debit side, 210,000 plus 100,000 is 310,000. Then we need to take off the smaller side, which is 90,000. And 310,000 on the debit side minus 90,000 is the balance carried down on the last day of the month. So we balance this at the end of the year. December the 31st, on the last day of the month, we have the carried down. And the carried down is the difference between the two sides. 310,000 minus 90,000 is equal to 220,000. Then what we do is we add up both sides. That's why I think this is called balancing the accounts. So we add up both sides, 210,000 plus 100,000 is 310,000. Now 90,000 plus the amount that makes the two sides equal is equal to 310,000. And the balance carried down is the difference between the debit side and the credit side. Then on the first day of the next month, in this case it's the next financial year, the balance carried down is shown on the opposite side as the balance brought down. Now what this means in this account is, on the 1st of January 2025, our equipment had a historical cost price book value the cost price of the equipment on hand was 220,000. Now it's important for you to see how to balance these real accounts, balance sheet accounts. And this is a great example. You got the opening balance, you got a transaction that took place, another transaction took place, you calculate the balance carried down, you add up both sides, they will be the same. And on the first day of the next month, the next financial year in this case, the balance brought down is 220,000. Make sure that you put the year, the month. The year hasn't changed, so I just write October. Now the year has changed, so I write 2025. Then I put January. On the 1st of September, that transaction took place and we balanced this at year end. That's why it's December the 31st. Very important to balance accounts correctly. Let's move on. Okay, just my rules. I'm always into my rules. 
this year was uh, an increase and a decrease in assets. Assets have an opening balance on the debit side. Now I just brought in here some in accounts, nominal accounts, just to show you what happens with nominal accounts. Nominal accounts are income and expense accounts. An interest on loan is an expense. All the transactions, there was a balance brought down, 0145, uh, and then there was another transaction, interest on the loan. But the point I'm trying to make with N accounts is they get totaled because the only entries on one side. If the entries on one side, they get totaled. Some textbooks, when there are entries on both sides, will balance them. If there's only one entry, you don't really have to do anything with it. Say for example, credit losses only had that one, sorry, credit losses only had that one entry. It will be zero. But I'm more interested in how you balance B accounts, that equipment account I just did. I put the nominal in accounts, nominal accounts in just to make this exercise complete. So steps to balance general ledger accounts, balance sheet accounts, B accounts. Step one, record the opening balance. Step two, after all the transactions have been entered, check which side is bigger. Step three, on the last day of the month, add to the smaller side the difference between the two, and this is known as the balance carried down. Step four, total both the debit and credit sides. Place the totals on the same line. Step five, on the opposite side of the balance carried down, record the balance brought down on the first day of the next month. <laughs> yes, that is easy. Make sure to watch the two exercises on asset disposal. Have a great day.